Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a small little mod to install in the car today, uh, but what I'm more excited about is trying to film on my cell phone or my Pixel 4 XL. Um, it's got a little higher resolution, a little bit smaller in terms of uh, packaging so I can kind of bring it in the car, show you what I'm doing. Um, so really this whole video is about testing the cell phone versus installing the mod because this is pretty straightforward but figured I'd film it either way or anyway. Uh, so I am installing the Cartboy wedge lock system. Um, the wedge lock system is essentially just a bunch of polyurethane bushings uh, that are one installed in the uh, differential carrier bushing uh, that's on the subframe, as well as the four points where the subframe bolts to, uh, I guess the frame. I will not be installing uh, the subframe bushings um, only because I think that once you get them in, it may be difficult to get out without dropping the entire subframe. Um, so I'm just not interested in doing that right now. Uh, but I do want to install the differential carrier bushings. Um, the car has uh, upgraded engine mounts, transmission mounts, as well as a carbon fiber drive shaft. So this is sort of the last thing or the last piece of the pie here or a piece of the puzzle, I guess is the right way to say it. Uh, the only thing that's been holding me back, because I've had these for like four or five years just laying around, was the fact that someone else on the NASIAC forum also has a carbon fiber drive shaft, and they were complaining about a lot of noise. Now the car is kind of at the point where it's not a daily driver, at least not five days a week. Uh, I have a roll bar in, the rear's like semi-stripped out, it's loud to begin with. Um, I don't really think that these carrier bushings, even if they do increase noise, is really gonna bother me that much. So I figured we put them in uh, and just see what happens. Uh, the install itself is very, very easy. It should be as simple as removing two bolts, sliding these pieces in, and then tightening the bolts down. Uh, the idea behind these bushings is that there's a rather large vo void inside the uh, differential bushing that this urethane bushing then fills. Uh, and then this metallic or aluminum washer uh, fills in to the void of the urethane bushing. Uh, and then the nut clamps down on this. And that sort of makes that bushing a lot more solid. It's, uh, there's no, no longer a void in that bushing, so it can't flex as much. Um, so we'll see how that, how that goes. Uh, more than anything, I'm excited to try to use this, this cell phone and see how the video turns out and see what that process is like, uh, and then be able to bring you under the car. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so car is up on jacks and uh, we're looking at the rear differential uh, right here, sorry. And then these are the two carrier bushings um, that we're working on. So it was just two 17 millimeter nuts. We'll take them off. And I'm not sure if you can see here, but there's a rather large void on the inside of that bushing. So that's where we're gonna insert the polyurethane bushing as well as that aluminum washer and then tighten everything down. Um, so let me go ahead and reposition the camera uh, so it's in a better spot. And then we'll just get to work on loosening the two nuts. All right, so there is a little bit of a problem here. Uh, if you can see, that polyurethane piece doesn't look like it's sitting all the way in. And if you come over here and uh, you look at it from this angle, um, it looks as if the stud is sagging down a little bit. And I think this is because the stock rubber bushing is so soft that when the suspension is unloaded, the differential sags down. Uh, so I think that I can push this polyurethane piece further in. Uh, all I have to do is jack the differential up a little bit just to unload the stock bushing. Uh, and then the stud should kind of center itself in, in the frame and I should be able to push this polyurethane piece in a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that right now uh, and see how that turns out. OK, 
Okay, that looks a lot better. Previously, I couldn't even get this. There we go. I couldn't get that washer on or that aluminum kind of spacer washer on. And in this case, it slipped right on. All right, so everything's on. Now I just gotta tighten it. So I got my torque wrench out. Forgot that I had these like shoulder sockets. Uh, so this is probably gonna be easier. Uh, torque spec on this is 51.6 foot pounds. All right, we're done, that's it. Okay, we're at the computer because the camera cannot record video in a moving car. It gets this weird weeble wobble wave um, thing going on to the picture and it looks like crap. Uh, so all of the in-car kind of impressions out the window. Uh, so what do the carrier bushings do for the car? Definitely adds a little bit of like a low frequency uh, hum to the car. Uh, especially as your speeds increase. So maybe over like 45, 55, 65, 75 miles an hour. Um, the carbon fiber drive shaft actually does that, but it does that at a much higher speed. And it seems to be that same sound uh, comes into the car at a lower speed. So my, my theory on that would be, or my hypothesis on that would be that the softer bushings were kind of damping out that vibration at lower speeds. And now that that bushing's gone, you're just hearing that sound a lot sooner. Um, it's not really a big deal, at least for me, uh, but for some of you guys, it may be a problem, especially if you do have a single piece drive shaft. Um, in terms of feel on the car, a lot of guys say that, oh, the car feels better when you're punching it out of a corner. I didn't really do any of that kind of driving on the streets. Um, but what I did feel like was that the clutch engagement was kind of shorter or that that window of engagement was shorter because normally there's like a window you can feather it in and that engagement window seemed a little bit shorter. Clutch engagement feel uh, was like more solid. Um, and I think maybe that's because the differential isn't moving or uh, laterally or I'm sorry, longitudinally. So, you know, maybe that's helping the engagement. Although I think the, the drive shaft, the spline going to the transmission can move. So does that really make a difference? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, one of the things that I did notice was when I was jacking uh, the diff up to bring the car off the jack stands, the diff doesn't really move anymore. Uh, previously you would jack up the car from the differential and you could see that differential go up and down. Like the first time you go to jack it up, it moves up like an inch, inch and a half before the whole car starts to move. Uh, and that was a lot more solid this time. So there's definitely an uh, increase in rigidity back there. Um, how that affects the handling characteristics of the car. I'm not entirely sure yet. So maybe in the future, when we give like an overall car update, uh, that'll be something I touch on. So that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching as always. If you have questions or concerns, ask in the comment section below and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Take care guys, bye.